All right, hey everybody, my name is David, and we're back with English is Easy. This is actually the second video in our series on the three keys to speaking English automatically. You can still download that at exlenglish.com slash three keys. You can go, and grab, go ahead and grab that if you haven't yet downloaded and read it. So you want to speak English, huh? Well, there are four main sentence structures in the English language that we use to communicate. These are the simple, progressive, perfect, and the perfect progressive tenses. Now you can take any one of those and break them down into three different areas. You have the past, present, and future. So you have the simple past, the simple present, and the simple future. Or you can do that with any one of these main grammar structures. And in a future video we'll go ahead and cover how those grammar tenses are made in each of those different tenses. But for now we're going to focus on helping you learn how to use these tenses correctly. Give you a quick swift te technique that you can begin applying today and begin learning and improving your English. So you don't need to study grammar to learn these tenses well. But, there's a caveat here, you do need to learn them implicitly. Remember that children don't study grammar to learn to speak their mother tongue. They learn how to speak first, then they go to school to learn how to read and write, and then they actually study grammar. So they learn how to speak first, and if you want to speak fluently and automatically, then you need to do the same thing. All right, so the big question is, how do you do that? Well, it's actually quite easy. If you've already read the three keys report and downloaded it for free at exlenglish.com slash three keys, then you already know how to do that. But today we just want to focus on this specific area. Remember that in the three keys that you need to listen, imitate, and reproduce what you are hearing in the language. So first of all, you're going to hear something. It's just like listening to music. You're going to listen to the song, then you're going to start singing along with the CD until you get to the point where you can sing the song on your own without listening to the CD. Same thing with learning a language. You have to listen to the words, the sounds, the structures, then you begin imitating them, and then you reproduce it, just like a young child learning their mother tongue. So it's the way children learn. You do it by communicating, by practice, which is really important. And the easiest way to do this is through stories. That's the way we communicate. We tell each other stories. We tell each other what happened to us yesterday, what happened to our friends. We tell each other what we're going to do. So stories are a really cool way to develop your English skills. So the first thing you want to do is listen to the story. Then you're going to repeat the story until you can reproduce it on your own and tell it to other people. Simple story here. Yesterday we went to the farm, but it rained a lot, so we came home early. That's something that happened yesterday. I told you a quick story. You understand it. I expressed myself well, and you understood it. And that's what communication is all about. So it doesn't have to be a long, complicated story. Take a simple story that focuses on the sentence structure you want to learn. In this case, the past tense, the simple past, went, rained, and came. Make a simple story out of it, and that way you can learn that tense implicitly and learn how to use it so that you can speak English fluently in automatically. Now there are a few key tips here, things that you can do to make this a lot easier as you're listening to it, as you're practicing it, and as you're reproducing it. Basically just follow those three simple steps. And there are also a series of 16 exercises. We don't have time to get into that in this video, but you can learn all about that in the Excel system. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video giving you, showing you at least some of these exercises so you can begin implementing them right away. But there are a whole series of exercises that you can do, create on your own, or have someone else help you with. But just start off simple. Take a simple story, listen to it, learn it, begin to Im mimic and imitate it, and then you'll get to the point where you can reproduce it. You practice just one story a week. 
I know a lot of students who do this. They take one story and they listen to it every day. That's great. If you can do more, better yet. If you have enough time to listen to the story every day, or if you have even more time, then you can listen to a different story every day, better yet, because then you can get a lot more practice in. So just make sure that you're making steady progress. Every day listening to stories, mimicking them, and then reproducing them. You can tell stories to other people, so you'll be able to tell many different stories, the stories that you've learned, or you can actually take those basic sentence structures that you've learned and just modify them, change them with other vocabulary words that you're learning so that you can say whatever you want to to express yourself in new ways. So that's what's really cool about using stories. They're great because you can learn new vocabulary with them, you can take those new stories and put them, those new words that you're learning, and put them in the stories. You can take new structures that you're learning and tell the same story with different sentence structures. And you can even develop and practice your pronunciation through those stories. So as you hear those stories and you practice them and you repeat them and retell them, you'll be reinforcing everything that you're learning in English till you get to the point where you're where you can speak fluently and automatically so just start off simple with children's stories or really easy stories or find someone that can help you with stories about yourself if they're personalized even better yet and just practice with them make sure that you're doing this frequently and often and developing positive habits which are the keys to your success remember English is easy so just have fun with it and remember, most importantly, just do it. No excuses. Make it happen. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the next video. God bless you. And we'll talk more later.